that. Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Alex Desair. Greg Lee. Destin Berry. Efren Santana. Greg Narvis. Jesse Wagner. <laughs> You guys are one of my favorite bands. I'm so excited to have a talk with you guys today. It's about time, right? Yeah, I've been to so many of your shows, so I'm really excited to, to talk about what you guys are doing. Right on. So I saw on your Facebook that after 25 years, you guys are finally releasing your first album out of nowhere on vinyl. Yeah. We're releasing <laughs> You really see it. 25 and then uh, right on time after 20. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we decided to we decided to re-release everything because we were taking too long to make a new record and people kept asking us to make a new record. We're like, "Well, well, let's compromise. Take this and we'll use the money from that to make the new album." Never out of nowhere it was never on vinyl, right? That too. Only CDs and cassettes. Yeah, so what went into the decision now to make that out on vinyl just to raise money for the new record or? Funny story. Initially, a friend of mine from work said, oh, I never heard your music, can you record me something? So I went into my closet and opened up my boxes of old records and looked for right on time. And I couldn't find it. I guess somebody either nicked it or I loaned it out and uh, <laughs> it was gone. So I said, geez, I don't, I don't have our, our, my own album. So I had this idea, I went to the record label, and I was like, hey, let me, I'm going to go to this, to the warehouse and pick up a record. And they're like, oh, yeah, nobody has them anymore. Oh, but man. you know it's the 20th anniversary of that record, right? Why don't we re-release that record? Yeah. And that's where the idea began, and then it just grew from there. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, like, what a throwback to bring that record back in such a big way on vinyl this time, because vinyl's become so popular. Yeah, it sounds he, yeah. He pretty much summed it up. Basically, there's a lot of fans who don't own it in vinyl. We thought it would be cool to release it and do, like, a dub version of the album, too, at the same time. You guys also have two new DIY releases that are available exclusively on your merch store. Exclusively Can you talk about what went into making those? Uh, a good friend of ours has kind of spearheaded uh, the making and the, the kind of production of it. And he's doing a fantastic job, Pablo. Um, what went into him, there's a great artist friend of ours who lives not too far away from here, I believe, Parker Legrand Jacobs, who had given me pieces of artwork that resemble the records years ago. I'm talking 15 years ago. He said, oh, yeah, I, I scratched these out on my desk. Here, you could have them. And one of them was the right on time cover with the cat but kind of drunk and kind of basically we used his artwork to do a bizarro world of the original record okay so every record has a kind of bizarro second version that is the dub version of the record with all of these bands nowadays playing third wave ska you guys are more influenced by the original jamaican ska um, what made you go that path, influencing so many of these bands today? I'd say we were just playing what we loved. Um, back in uh, the late 80s, the only time they'd play like old Jamaican ska, rock steady, and reggae was in between sets at yeah. ska clubs and ska gigs. And um, we were like, man, how come there's no bands that are playing that style? You know, So we're just like, well, you know, why don't we do it? We love it, so why don't we play it? So and that's how it started, and that's where it's been since. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Hepcat being around for 25 years, I mean, you guys have influenced so many of the younger bands today, and it's, your style is just so unique. Yeah, it, I think Greg was the one who told me that when you guys went to Brazil, Greg, you were saying that a lot of the Brazilians down there see us as the purveyors of that style. Like, they, they don't know anything before us. 
Yeah. So which is kind of crazy because we're just going, you know, it's it's a weird, it's just a weird phase, you know, like phases and stages of things, yeah, we're, we're you know. Make an artist, I guess maybe they're influenced by us, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then the other thing too is like when we started, we were trying to emulate that sound so much. Yeah. We, from from the way we played to the way we wanted to record and it's like all this stuff and then we eventually realized that we can't go back we can't play that that style because we're not in the 60s you know yeah. music yeah, and art yeah we are, we are us you know yeah so we have to pretty much make what we know how to make you know? yes exactly well at least at least speaking for myself almighty and and the, the original songs we first did I thought that they sounded exactly like Toots and the Maytals or exactly like the Ethiopians. Yeah, in, in our in our like 18 year old or whatever brain, we thought they sounded exactly bang on. And it, a couple years later, after playing with other bands and hearing our recordings from playing live, you're like, that doesn't sound. And it, it took a while to get over that, that we didn't sound exactly like them. And fortunately, we hung out long enough to realize it sounds like us. Yes. Not like them. Yeah. Which made it better. Because you guys argue and you brought your own original flavor to it. Yeah, but you know how it is, like when you're when you're young, you don't want to necessarily be you want to be your own, but when it happens you can't recognize it. Well, actually so, I remember we did have I don't remember how many years into it. Was it I think it was a gig in like San Diego or something where we played a rally. And we played this gig and it was like, you know, any other gig we played. But when it was done, is that what it was? Yeah. When it was done, we all literally got off the stage and it was like back to the future. We we're like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound. <laughs> and that was literally, it was literally night and day. And from, from that point, it became every show we played, we started to play almost like with, with a kind of a chip on yeah. our shoulder because we knew we were doing something. We just didn't know what it was. Yeah. You know, it, it took a lot of years for us to be able to sit back and say like we're playing Hepcat style music. We still even resist that idea. We still listen to ourselves and go, ah, that's not good enough. We edit ourselves so hard where someone who's been into Hepcat would be like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. What you just did was magic. We'd be like, nah, yeah, you don't know. that sucked. <laughs> that sucked. Sorry, Greg. You sucked on that one. Uh, favorite experiences we were. Uh I think we were, we, were, we were touring with the Scatolites, a quick tour, and we were down in, this was definitely San Diego, and there were all these old Jamaicans that were there to see the Scatolites. So there were all these old Jamaican men and these old Jamaican women. We finished playing our set, and I remember this woman coming up, boy, you remind me of my youth. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the moment, I was like, we did it. We, that's it, we found it. play with the Scatolites, they looked at us like, yeah, kind of, but, let us help you. Yeah. <laughs> that it, in a gist. That that's kind of how they treated us. They're like, yeah, that was good, guys. But you know, you want to dig in a little deeper and and just be natural about it. And yeah. and after that tour, it everything changed, and we began working on being us. That's awesome. And you guys are so influential. <laughs> some of your favorite ska rock city dance moves i'm not really i don't consider myself ska so but see here's the thing we don't do any ska rock city dance moves because back when we started when we played what we thought was perfection in rock steady ska nobody danced oh and it's really not because they didn't like it it's because they didn't know how to dance so what we started doing is alex and i started doing the choreograph whatever we feel like so that people will do whatever they feel like. Now you see people out there doing the ska. I've heard he's quite the dancer though. He is. Oh, yeah, he can yeah. Can you teach me something? Greg, I'm not Norvis really. What's your favorite? Just show me your favorite move. What's your favorite move? When it comes to like the old ska stuff, you just kind of just groove with it. You know, you don't have to move a lot. 
Okay. You know, they, they came up with this dance called the ska, and all of a sudden, like, everyone's just going like this and, you know, rowing the boat and stuff, which is all good. But <laughs> the way you feel the music is the way you're going to move. So if it's going to be me, I'm just going to, you know, kind of groove along. But that's the old stuff, right? Make it look so easy. But then when it comes to two-tone, you got that, like, running in place, like, should I stay or should I, should I stay, should I stay, should I stay, whatever. <laughs> and, then, and then you have, like, the happy skank, which is, like, the more third wave and newer thing where everyone's smiling and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I remind you of Eddie you know? there. So that's, uh, <laughs> there's so many different styles of ska, of dancing the ska and what people interpret as skanking. So it, it really is just up to the individual, you know? Okay. It's like, I would rather see people come up with their own ways of feeling the music yeah. than trying to conform to whatever is in or whatever is considered, you know, the official ska and, dance. And that's a total reverse of the original Hepcat. This is where we've come. It's like, do whatever you want to. It's okay when we're playing. Pop locking is allowed. Yeah, I did some pop locking. Pop lock. Show. All right, let me see if I can come up with a new dance move during your set today. All right, yeah. we'll be watching. Sounds good. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time. I love you guys, and I'm so excited to see you play today. Right. You go for it. You go for it. You go for it. All right, no, you. How you doing, folks? We are hip tap. And what are we watching? Last, Last Rockers, Rockers TV! TV. Better know that! <laughs>